out a new face shield that has a new antifall. We've been told by our Canadian, we've been told by our Canadian customers that there's a real problem with antifall that a lot of them really don't work when it gets extremely cold. So we came out to Louisville Cold Storage. We're going into the cold room. It's minus 12 right now. We're going to go into this cold room. We're going to try out these new face shields to see how they do, and we're going to compare them to some of the older brands. Trying the next shield. This shield is also a uh, anti-fog treatment, like the last one. We're trying it also for three minutes. This one uh, throws up faster than the other, but not dramatically, but it, it got a lot worse. Three minute test with the antifall. can still really see for the most part, uh, performed a lot better than the previous, than the other three that we tested. And now the fog is going away, I can read again. Fog seems to uh, to dissipate too. Yeah. All right, let's take it off and, and get a video of what's frozen. The top <laughs> seemed to clear very quickly. I'm gonna just wipe it and see if it wipes. Doesn't seem to wipe very well. But it is better. It is frozen a little bit, but visibility was still there. It seems oh, yeah. to outperform the other ones. Okay, so we're back for another anti-fog test. On this shield doesn't have any anti-fog treatment. So we're gonna see what the difference is. It's also been at minus 13 and a half. We're it's been at minus 13, 13 and a half. For about an hour. For about an hour now. We're going to try this one and see if that makes a difference also. No visibility, gone. Minute 30 seconds, no visibility. You want to take it off? Yeah. We're done? Done. And no visibility, a minute and 30 seconds. All right, so we're getting ready to do the last shield. This one, we did it a little differently. We brought it in from a warmer climate, and it does not have any fog. And we'll try and see what happens now. We're starting the process now. Take it off and let's film the inside of it. Again, it's it still wasn't fog, fogged around one of my eyes. I could see out of one eye, I couldn't see out of the other one. But that definitely made a big difference, just keeping the face shield warm and then going out and trying to work quickly, then coming back and getting the face shield warm again. This is Hugh Holden again. We just kind of wanted to recap the things that we actually learned in our testing at cold storage. That day in cold storage was quite interesting. One of the things we learned was that keeping the shield warm does the most difference. We found that, uh, that the shields that are warm, like you take it out of a warm truck or you take it out of a warm uh, unit and go outside and work for a few minutes, you're okay even with a shield without antifog if you're talking about a minute. 
Uh, in the really cold temperatures that we were in, 13 below, we found that there was such a big difference in the different shield technologies. We found that no anti-fog fogged up very quickly. Uh, the common anti-fogs that were on the industries fogged up within about a minute and a half. We found that if the shield was closer to the face, that that was a negative. Those shields, even with anti-fog, tended to fog a little quicker than the other shield technologies. But we found this new shield technology that's like an insert that goes into, and this one actually fits right inside this particular brand, but they have it, this particular type of shield insert goes for several different brands. Look and see if you can get this new shield insert because it makes the most difference. We found that even after three minutes, it wasn't fogging up around the eyes, which is the most important thing. So we could still see through the shield perfectly even after three minutes and 13 below. It was the only shield technology that made that much difference. Even without anti-fog or with anti-fog and being warm, it didn't make as much difference as this new shield technology. And from what I understand, this shield technology, you peel off this uh, plastic on the outside, insert it into your shield, it starts working after a few minutes. It needs a little bit of time to adjust to the uh, moisture in the air. And then once it's done that, it can be rejuvenated by just washing it with soap and water. So there's some new technologies out there that you ought to look at. The most important thing to do in anything you buy PPE-wise is do a wear trial in the real conditions that you're going to be in. Doing a wear trial in your conditions will let you know if it's only uh, 10, 10 above Fahrenheit, then that's not a big deal. But if it's 13 below Fahrenheit, then that's a big problem. And you want to make sure you've got a technology that works for your workers that are in the field. Because if they can't see, the PPE that protects them from a once in a while thing now becomes a hazard. We don't want your PPE being a hazard. So think through your situation, do a wear trial, check out new technologies, and you'll find a better anti-fog than the one you have today probably. Thanks.